Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel and another episode of the Battle for Astrakhazi. So today we're with the Nikons. We've split our unit up in half. Half of them are heading into the city to take on a lance that was detected there. The other half are heading out into the countryside. There was reports of a heavy mech out there, so they're going to hunt that mech down. Alright, here we go. Five on the ground. So this one is a three skull mission against the Oberon Confederation. Straight up battle. Hope they don't get reinforcements because that could be a problem. They're way up here. So I think my goal is just, just to kind of divide and conquer them. We've got a bunch of light mechs with us and I brought the demolisher down just in case we needed to get some firepower to bail us out. Um, so I'm going to rely on maneuverability and um, positioning to handle the enemy here. So the heaviest mech we got is 45, which is a Grendel, but it's lightly armored, lightly armed. So hopefully we don't uh, end up in a bad place here. Who, who do we got? Bushwhacker. Okay. Like worst case scenario, we just put the d demolisher up as a meat shield. Uh, let's get first shots out. Confirmed. Might as well get first shots out. See if we can claim an arm or something here. It's a lot of missiles. Probably got probably full with rockets over there, but that's fine. So yeah, I had a kind of fun match the last time with the uh, dragons rejects Waiting for and uh, splitting them up like we did. So I thought I would try that again. I don't think our smalls can reach that far now. Let's get into here. See if we can get some more Head sensors the on. Metal. Oh, sorry. Um, the heaviest mech we have here is the uh, 55 ton Stormcrow. Uh, it's the new. St it's the new Stormcrow. I managed to get it outfit. I gave it to Giant. He's the one that had the MRM adder. Uh, because I'll show you here what it's what it's got in a second. Let's get you down to here. We got a shot Don't off on this guy. So I went with a more of a close range brawler configuration on it. I was hoping to go more laser, but I just don't have enough stuff to sink the heat. I just, once again, I'm having problems sinking heat on mechs. So we've got a pair of uh, ER medium lasers, a pair of medium pulse laser clans, and an MRM-30 with incendiary and improved ammo. So um, definitely an upgrade from the last mech. Let's get up here. It's got full frontal armor, um, 10 points uh, less on the legs, and a, and a little bit less on the back, but not too much less on the back. No targeting computers on this thing, unfortunately, so it's we're going to have to rely on the pilot's skill. Because um, I had to put a heat bank and an exchanger in here just to, to sink all the heat. I only had a certain number of double heat sinks, too, and those were for a... Um, ooh, nice. Those were for a... Um, Critical hit. A uh, standard double heat sink kit. Okay, there's a Clint. So, um, yeah, so we got standard. We got two extra standard heat sinks in here to help seat the, sink the heat. Nice. Keep shooting them down. That was a TBM, I think. It's another bushwhacker. Okay. Ordered. That's all right. Get that demo up here. It's good to go. Couple more turns before this thing's in a battle. Look at the rockets on this thing, man. Nice. I wonder if that's got a one shot arrow launcher. What's this guy back here? Javelin? It is. Okay. Okay. What can I do for you? Yeah, I wasn't sure what we were gonna get out of this playthrough. I didn't know if we were gonna get uh Pedal to the metal. Like just a single lance and another lance coming in, or if it was gonna be two lances to start or what. So I'm hoping it's just this one. No sweat. We got more than enough firepower to handle these guys, I think. But the bushwhacker's getting close. It could be an issue, but I think we're—I think with what we got here, we're okay. Here. 
On the move, full speed. All right, direct line of sight, beautiful. Get on the bushwhacker, and yep. Engaging target. That should probably take the torso, I think. We get enough hits. Or we get the kill. That Next works too. Yes, Commander. Run on the XL engine. This could be a real quick battle. Ooh, there we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go, here we go, here we go now. Tag on. Got that one point damage. You know what would be an interesting build? Grabbing an, grabbing an Omni mech. This would be the challenge. Grab grab an Omni mech. As heavy as you want, doesn't matter how heavy it is. Just get it really, really heavy. Okay, you need to go up this way. And uh -huh. fill it with tags. That's all you're allowed to use as a weapon. Just fill it with tags and see how long it would take to take down an opponent. I don't know. You choose your opponent. Do it as a uh, duel. Time to die. And all you're allowed to use is tags. If you want to use taggers, you're good with that too, but tags and taggers is it. At least your tag should have a good chance to hit. Um, I don't want to go up the ramp. Let's keep going straight. Copy that. I don't know if we're going to need you or not. If I can do this with just the max, we'll do it with just the max. So the last that I've got here is rated three skulls, and this is a three skull mission. So I'm just—it's just interesting to see what the uh, AI thinks is a matchup here. Might as well throw these on. Let's see how you like this. Ooh, a couple grind shots. Out of SRM. That's all right. That's all right. This guy's hiding behind here. Your rockets are useless back there, buddy. But then again, we can't hit him either, so... I may have to do a gra Oh, look at that. Two... What, 20, 40, 50, 60 incendiary rockets? Probably 70, 80 incendiary rockets. And it's probably another 15 and a 5. So 100 incendiary rockets, probably. And some kind of AC. Waiting on you, Commander. That's pretty fat. Um... No, I think we could go this way. Max speed, no shooting. Drop a few rounds on the Clint. Affirmative. Yeah, man, the Clint. I don't know. Another hit like See ya. It's one of those mechs that I don't have a lot of respect for. I mean, I know you should respect every mech, but. The Clint just seems to be, it's like, it's good, be, I mean, I guess because it's got the extra bonus to hit with the, uh, with the AC, and I think it's got a plus two to hit with, with its targeting computer for the, for the AC. Well, at least he's going down to the ground. Fall damage. What about winter damage? Um... But yeah, I mean, it's got a bonus day with the AC, but other than that, there's really nothing useful. The armor's garbage on it, you know. I don't know, it's got these big kind of baboon ears sticking out the side of its head. It looks, looks bizarre. Yeah, I wonder if he's got like one of those Thunderbolt, uh, what are they? Like the five pack Thunderbolt 10s or whatever they are. Keep coming up. If we need you, we need you. If, there's a, if they get reinforcements, you can handle the, you can handle the lance that shows up. It's nice having that guy's backup. Thought about taking him on the second mission, but then I'm like, you know what? Now I think we'll leave him on this one because if uh, shit goes south, we've got somebody that can uh, handle it. You know, they could definitely easily handy, handle a heavy mech. Alright, we're in range here. Let's warlord this. Got everything up. 
Yeah, so we're pretty heat neutral. We're only plus four heat um, with weapons. Cry havoc. It's not too bad. I thought about putting, rather than the MRM-15, putting a pair of LRM-15s in, but Solid we, we run with a lot of LRMs, so I figured I hear ya. let's go with the direct fire. Get you up here. Going turbo. Apply a little bit more damage to this guy. Tell me what to shoot. Yep, yeah. I was hoping for more. I mean, it's against the Oberon Confederation, so I wasn't really expecting too, too much. But the fact they got two pirate bushwhackers, that's some pretty good salvage. Okay, he's putting himself into death range now. We should be able to get a shot on him maybe next turn. Maybe. I hear ya. Could do it this turn. Get into here. Not gonna get a kill on the javelin, but we got way better chance on this guy. Let's go with the incendiaries on him. Actually, let's hold off on the incendiaries and fire. Okay, not too bad. Got some detection on him. Aye, aye. Thought I saw. There it is. Where was it? There. Let's get over here. Not gonna have that great a chance to hit this guy, but well, certainly better than the Grendels. Copy that. Ooh, we landed one plus the tag. It's surprising how reliable the tags are. Like I know, uh, we seem to have a lot of low percentage chance to hits with the with the tags, but we still managed to land it. And I know it's got plus one accuracy and then plus one evasion ignore, so that's a bonus. Alright. Who's up? Commander. Oh, you. Stay on the road here. Hauling off. A little bit of ass hauling. I will be done. Yeah, so I mean the range on this guy's not too bad. The accuracy's an issue. Confirmed. I gotta get another prototype double heatsink kit so I can load this guy down with just energy weapons. Take that. Waiting on you, Commander. Alright, Igor. Um He's got this guy's got a lot of rockets. And if he hits you, it's a shutdown. So let's do this. Get over here. We got time. We can come back in. No point rushing things. We could have gone out. We could have jumped behind him and gone after his ass. But you know, Fist of Dorm, Dorm pointed it out. It's, you know, he really does have a fairly weak loadout against the lower end mediums and light max. It's definitely a killer for backstabbing. But against like this guy's a higher end medium, 55 tons, right? It's it's not as good, right? Comes all the rockets. Chose the Stormcrow. That's the best target he could have chose next to the Demolisher. Can't vent fast enough. Take yeah, they damage. can. What can I do for you? A straight line, we don't. So let's put you here. No sweat. Go after this guy. Put the tandems on. Get a few through armor criticals, hopefully. Well, the rocket launchers have already been expelled, so let's not blow them up. Got it. Nice. Awaiting orders. All right, don't shoot your own guy in the back. Affirmative. Well, Cat's generally pretty reliable, so I trust her. Firing on target. Nice. 
Okay. Yes, Commander. Ooh, that's interesting. Uh, other guys could shoot from here, but you can't. And I think it's because you are low to the ground. Oh. You could do that. We're going to be able to hit you, though, from there. I don't know. Does the... Yeah, Demolisher's got a turret, right? On the move. Let's hope. Full speed. We need everybody else in the bushwhacker. Yeah, so we're good on this guy. You get your shot. I wish so I, I'm only doing this because I want to end the battle. They, they've lost, but... Just want to get this over with. See ya. Enemy down. Could have ended up been being really, really bad for that guy. Waiting for orders. All right, Igor. Um, this guy shot his wad, so let's get over here. No sweat. I'm gonna turn a little bit to this direction, just so that this guy comes around to hit me. And then, how hot is this guy? Not hot at all. Fuck it. Let's just use it all. Uh -huh. Okay. Oh. There's the knockdown. Plus, with the heat, it limits his movement, so hopefully he won't be able to melee me. Well, hopefully he'll be dead at the end of this turn. Yes, Commander. Do you need to move? No, you don't. Okay, 64 and 55. Let's go after this leg. Got one on anyway. Take that. I'm ready. All right. This guy. Leave this off. Wow, that's uh, pretty hot. Oof. Fuck it. Locked and loaded. Here Shit. It comes. Negative damage. Heat is cooking. Waiting on you, Commander. I know it's cooking your internals. It's blah 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 blah. I hear a word you said. Hippity hoopla. Let's go up to this guy. Special delivery. Here's the leg. When I shoot you, you'll take it and like okay, it. Okay, panic level critical. Now who's up, Marlin? Oh, can you get a shot on this guy? Probably not. I don't think no matter where you go, you get a shot on him. Nope. Then let's just do... this. And do this. No unnecessary damage of property. That. Sorry, what was that? I, I I didn't hear what you said. What was that, that you were that saying? One. That was necessary, by the way. We gotta get a clear shot in this guy. What are you doing? Have a seat, buddy. That it? Nope. <laughs> Oh, it's on now. You got that right. Waiting on you, Commander. All right, let's see if we can get this guy. Let's just get three. Nope. And there's more where that came from. Come on, just bail out for you. fuck's sake. Time to die. Nope. Stop fucking around, guys. God damn it. How much does he have left on there? Seven. That should do it. Ah, oh, for Christ's sake. Really? Yeah, it's okay. We're gonna come down. We're just gonna vent the, uh, vent the cooling right on top of you. Mission successful. 
Yeah, the leopard's just going to fly over and drop a canister of liquid nitrogen on that guy. Which would probably be a bad idea. Could you imagine that? What would happen to that thing if you dropped a canister of liquid nitrogen on it? It would just, like, inst because it was so hot, it would probably just instantly freeze, crack, and fall apart. Alright, Thunderbolt 10, Ando Steels, 240 core. Um, AC5 fluid ammo. So not a lot here. We need these for the other playthrough, but we don't have that over there. But I'm just going to do this. Um, AC5 Pirates. These are the overheaters. Oh, I'm taking two of those. I don't know if we'll use them. But they run like they're only heat nine with eight tons. It is the op we do have the opportunity with these and probably a pair of LRMs or something. We could put them on like a 55 tonner or a 50 tonner Omnimac and use it as an overheating machine. So we're going to take those two. I think that's definitely worth it. All right, let's go this route. Okay, we got the other bushwhacker part, javelin part, which I can sell. Frame bro fl flame breath. Um, 120 meters. Those can go incendiary rockets. We'll hold, I mean, they're 0.25 times. We'll hold on to them just in case. Pirate medium laser can go. Armor can go. Endo steel. We've got lots, so let's just sell those. We need sea bills. We need lots of sea bills. Um, regular AC5 ammo. We've got three. I'm going to keep those two. I'll probably sell one once we get back inside. And the TBM stuff. Uh, am I going to go with Thunderbolt launchers in this playthrough? I don't know. This will give us an option. Let's just keep them. Thermal bolt and kinetic kill. We'll keep them just in case. Alright, so here we are with the second half of the unit. So this is a three and a half skull battle against clan Nova Cat. So I'm interested to see how this works out. So we've got what was left over from our mech. So we've got Gatekeeper in the Vulture. Uh, we've got Blade in the Nova with the Ultra 5s. Uh, Chinstrap, who's our secondary pilot. Um, she is piloting the uh, Stormcrow with the PPC and, uh, and the LRMs. Slingshot's piloting his uh, Kit Fox, as he always does. And then in the second half, we've got Rose piloting the Bandit and Wendigo piloting the Hunter. So... Yeah, this should be interesting. I don't know what to expect with three and a half skulls. It might only be one lance, or What's up, boss? it might not be. I don't know what to expect here. So this is something I don't recognize. Looks like an LRM5 and a pair of lasers. Uh, okay, well, do we... Let's push forward and see what we can spot. Stay out of sight. We don't quite have the range to engage that guy. That's why I didn't want to do it right away. Okay, blade. Standing by. Get a little bit of height here, see if we can see anything. Affirmative. Now we got that guy again. Oh, it's a thorn. Okay. I was expecting something heavier. That's why I was like, I don't recognize that. Alright. Hopefully we can take this guy down this turn. I'm hoping for more than one lance. Like, if they get reinforcements, that would probably be good. As long as they're not all 65 tonners here. I don't mind them getting reinforcements. Give me a little bit of extra juice salvage. Let's go that route. Okay, he's narked. That'll help out. And he's unstable. Yes, Commander. Just in time for chin, chin strap to show up. See if you can actually see him, though. Don't think your sensors are good enough. We'll find out. Yep, they are. Ah, enjoy it, buddy. We'll See ya. A lot That's of good salvage gone, unfortunately, but not much we can do about Commander. that. Gotta try and minimize the damage until we find out the other five mechs or four mechs that we're facing here. Let's get the hunter up. Let's 
It's a vehicle over here. Commando? That's the second vehicle I've heard. Let's get you up here. See what we can spot. Acknowledged. This is three and a half skulls, so... We're only rated at three skulls, our Lance. So I'm just kind of like... They better have some half-decent stuff. Oh shit. Okay. Um, well, we'll get another turn to move, so let's just push forward. Of course you are. Looks like enemy oh, right here. Anova, Griffin, Crab, a carrier, which we've got to kill fast. Dunar, attack helicopter, a Lynx, Mad Dog, cool. Do we have, is it this playthrough we have Mad Dog parts in? I don't remember. Let's get down here. I want to try and kill these flankers first, I think. Heading out. Or at least a couple of them. I know we want to get rid of the carrier. Um Let's get up here. Acknowledged. Who are you? Uh oh yeah, the bandit. Let's get you. Hmm. Oh, we got another target here. Stormcrow. Let's get you down here. And you, um... Just gonna put you up on the hill. Acknowledged. Get a little bit of elevation, maybe help you out with your targeting here at range. Alright. Who's up? Ready to get it on. Slinger. Cannot see that carrier. Can if we're out here, but then we're just open target. Hmm, we go 22, 21, 19, 17, 18, and 16. In the water, they get better sensors, so... This puts us closer to the other guys. Alright, I know what we're doing. Change of plans, guys. Plan B. Plan B. Got a lock. Okay, Clan LRM carrier. We know what now. We know what it is. That's got to go. That's got to go like this turn. Got the vulture coming up, so that should probably handle it. Vulture goes in seventeen. Okay. Standing by. Really? We can't get a side shot? Can from here. Go into full throttle. I am not in the mood for that copter right now. Hopefully we kill it far enough away from us I don't have to put up from the, with the fucking sound. Alright, let's hammer this guy. Affirmative. Shit, should have switched to incendiaries. Oh my god, you missed with the uh, PPC. You missed with the PPC. We got two over there at 19. Stormcrow's coming in. Ready for orders. Okay, it's gonna have to be a front shot. It's fine. You got to go. See ya! Oh, she's got lots of armor. What if I can get it to bail out? No, we go for the kill. We go for the kill. That'd be a nice carrier to replace the hunter with, though. 
That's got to be like a 60 tonner. I think the light carriers are 30. Carriers are just like 60 tons, I think. And then the heavy carriers are 80 tons. I think that's how they go. Doesn't say how heavy this thing is. It's five points left in the side. Really? Yes, Commander. That should be enough, I think. Come on. Oh, for crying out loud. You just can't kiss that side, huh? Just a little... That's all you need. I want to shoot... I want to use the vulture on the copter. Yeah, usually I've got Wendigo in the um, bandit. Rose is in there now. Wendigo's a lot faster. Rose is just a little slower. Standing by. Um, which is a bit of a problem. I usually love having the bandit go first and getting in close so that we can at least see our enemies, but it's not working with this one. We're going to switch to standard ammo. Hope we get the kill on this one. We're shooting from the front, so... A little less chance to hit, but it does more damage. So hopefully if we just kiss the side with one of these, it should kill it. Engaging target. Nope, you're gonna make me use the vulture on it. God damn it. Now, I don't have multi-track on this, do I? No, I don't. Thought maybe I had the targeting computer, but I do not. Uh, save a bit of ammo. Yeah, an LRM-80 is just a real bad time. Alright, here we go. Let's mix it up a bit here. Wavering back there. Okay. So we're up by two. Well, they still got two more mechs than us, but we've killed two more than that. Two, two of their guys, they haven't got any of ours. Good to go. I think we're still okay to engage on this side. Let's push them a little bit here. We've got to keep our side facing the other guys, though, because we can't turn our back on them. Now, this Donner... Chunky armor on the front. Let's see if we can drop it. Wow, everything hit. Nice shooting, though. I'm liking the loadout in that Nova. The Parabultra 5 is a really sweet, sweet kind of loadout. Shooting at the Hunter. It's nice. As long as you're not shooting my main guys. Alright, Chinny, let's see if you can get up there and get that Donner. Moving to position. Let's finish this guy off and get it out of here. Firing on target. There we go. That's a lot of damage. Vehicle frags. Alright, they are now seven against our six. Yeah, you move away. Got something you want done? I do. I guess I should have engaged with the Kit Fox Copy last that. time on this side, but I was considering switching sides and coming back around here, but I should have just continued up on this side. 50% in the crab. Nova. I think we want to try and pull the Nova apart to keep it alive. The crab we can just shoot up and kill. So let's go after that guy first, if we can. Take him down. Then hopefully pull the legs off the Nova. Trash the uh, Griffin. Is it a 2C? It doesn't say it's a 2C. So this is like the uh, African Lion Safari Park next to the city. I didn't want to take the uh, battle in the jungle. I've been trying to avoid it because it's not really... You know... 
doesn't really fit with where we are in the valley, like the desert, like the desert valley. So I'm just kind of trying to avoid taking things that don't match what the playthrough is. But this is like the uh, um, the old theme park that was next to that town. Oof! You're gonna be running hot though. Who is that? Is that the Griffin? I think that might have been the Griffin. I'm receiving you. Let's get over here. Moving out. Let's get some eyes on if we can. All right. Wow. 19 on the Nova. Well, there's our target there. What about... Yeah, HE's a little out. Go with standard ammo. I'll get some more damage in on this guy. Standing by. Moving to position. Get a little bit of evasion here. 12%, huh? 27 on the Nova, 12 on the Crab, really? Well, let's fire on you. Roger that. Soften you up a little bit. Was he firing an AMS? It sounded like an AMS went off. Laser AMS, that is. Okay, we're going to go after this Crab. I think he's in range with everything. Yeah. Proved ammo. Want to go listen, kill? I think so. I want him gone. So let's just go after him. Miss with the PPC. Those missiles certainly do a lot of damage, though. Waiting for orders. Been procking a fair amount of headshots off those things too, so it's kind of nice. I know we're in the water, but. We'll just get in here. Work on getting rid of this guy. Uh, let's throw the rocket 20 up as well. Push this guy out of here. And firing. Locked on. Nice. Got past the armor. It's reporting critical hit. I'm out of short range missiles. That's all right. You don't need them. Acknowledged. You don't need them now. Let's get on this guy. I got it. That crab is having a bad day. I think I hit something good. If we knock him down, we got a chance to put him out. I think we can probably use the um, storm crow to just plink him with uh, LRMs, and then we'll turn and use the vulture on this uh, asshole up here with the PPC. Light damage, holding firm. I didn't want to give away the high ground up here, but I don't have a choice. I can't get over this hill this way. Wow, that was a uh, really bad shot. That was a uh, really bad shot. Okay, Goss rifle. But nice to pick up a Goss clan. That was one of the other things I was looking at for the uh, Stormcrow D build in the last um, battle. I was thinking about putting the, um, let's just stay in the trees here. I was thinking about putting a, the uh, Blackwell Gauss rifle we had on it, but it's 15 tons. So it was a little bit much, I think. Let's put his ass on the ground. Hopefully we can knock him out, get some salvage off this guy. Score to critical hit. Oh my god, not even enough to knock him over. Oh, we still got the, uh, oh, I thought he bailed out there for a second. Oh, you're the double PPC guy. Reporting heavy damage. Okay. Yes, Commander. Let's get off that hill. Going Should be able to knock him over from down here. You're the double PPC guy. Firing on target. Come on, go down. Of course not. I'm here. Fuck off. 
Move over here. I'm just going to use the extended range. Hopefully it's enough just to blow on this guy to knock him over. Or, or to blow him up. That works too. Whatever. Enemy eliminated. We just lost the Royal Double Heat Sink kit. I don't know if that drops or not. I don't think it does. I think it may just drop as a double heat sink kit. Oh, he's got double PPCs too. Reporting internal damage. I see that. Or well, we need to get on him now. Then I was going to hold off, but I don't think we can. Actually, what is our better chance to hit the Griffin or that guy? This guy. You want to run a hot build? Let's make you nice and hot, then. Time to barbecue that guy. Mm -hmm. We may lose the hunter in this fight. This is turning out to be a good fight. Commander. Turning out to be a good fight. Get into here. Order confirmed. Now, um, not the best chance to hit, so we're just going to shoot everything. Yep, you keep using that laser AMS. Keep baking yourself with that, with that heat. The glorious heat! Our, uh, vulture goes before him. Orders. We need to get you someplace safe, so that's your right leg. There is nowhere safe here. That gets you away from the other guy's PPCs. Let's get into here. And let's go this route help you out a little bit and let's go this route and I'm gonna put the tandems on this shot get some through armor criticals maybe damage that PPC I don't know no crits it's fine I'm out of short range missile tags on let that guy know we know he's there watch my six Pretty low percentage chance to hit from over there, but still, it's still a chance. That's the Stormcrow or the Lynx? Yep. Hang in there, buddy. Orders. Hang in there. Can't fuck around with this Nova anymore. We'll worry about getting salvage off the other guys. We've got to get rid of these guys. All right, firing. Fuck me. We've got to get out of the water. Reporting. Heavy damage. We might be able to get behind here. If we can break line of sight, we'll be okay, and then we can push back on them once when th once these guys are down. Uh, I'm gonna stick with the incendiaries. Well, that works. Okay, everybody on the Griffin, please. Yes, Commander. Everybody on this freaking Griffin. Affirmative. Don't think we're quite within proper HE range, but we'll get the standard ammo on him anyway. I love the maneuverability of this bandit. It's so awesome. Okay, ER is 83. Standard's 83. 73 with the HE. I think we go with HE. Let's get you behind a rock so they can't see you. 
And we'll shoot this guy. Aye, aye. Okay, everybody on that guy. Standing by. I want mortars and grenade launchers on that guy until he's gone. Moving to position. Stay behind the hill here. Get some stability back. He's going to be shooting for him anyway, so let's get on this guy. Okay, not bad. A lot of spread, but that's okay. He's going on 22 though, so he goes next. Yeah. Okay. Hang in there, kiddo. Yes, Commander. On the move. Standard ammo. Firing on him. Confirmed. UPC's on. Nice. Ammo explosion. Took a side. That's gonna hurt. I think he had ATMs. Oh, SRM6 Valiance. So it's in I it's an inner sphere version. Shooting for the vulture. Hope we can hopefully we can get the kill. Actually, I'm gonna reserve the vulture. Because I want to go with the Stormcrow, or sorry, the Nova, and see if I can. I'm gonna turn around and head back towards the jungle. Get him from the side again and see if I can blow through to the CT. Then I can switch the Nova up to firing on the other side. Yeah. We gotta get your we gotta get this guy turned anyway. He's taking too many hits now. Goes on 19. Who do we got next here? Fuck. Damn it. Waiting for orders. Nothing I could have done about that anyway. I copy. So I don't like going into water if I can avoid it. Okay, all this on him. Not enough, eh? Target. Well, there's a knockdown. Alright, our vulture's going after- Oh, he's gone. Beautiful. Alright. Time for a match up here. Here we go. Maybe I should have swept this way. This guy's toasty, so let's uh, keep him nice and toasty. PPC landed. Looked like it was a leg hit. Narcs are on. Beautiful heat. That should fire suppress him for a bit. Who do we got next, Wendigo? Stay behind the rock. Same guy, please. Yeah, we hit the leg with the PPC. Head hit. Good, that'll drop his initiative for next turn. Which means I'm probably going to be going for before him. Wavern's trying to come up to... Ooh, indirect fire. Trying to give him a little bit of blockage, but it's not going to help. It is not going to help. All right, Rose. I love how fast this thing is. Look at this thing. Yeah, I think, you know, if we can get a Lance of Vehicles, a couple of fast bandits, and then, um... Really? Couple of fast bandit hovercrafts, and then um, let's just go ER on them. This should be good. Well, that's the waiver. Damn it! Ah, it's fine. Couple fast bandit hovercrafts, crafts, a demolisher, and then probably um, let's move up over here. Understood. Moving fast. And then like an L like a clan LRM carrier with an LRM 80. I think that would probably be a pretty good. Uh, Ground force. Commander. I'm not really 100% thrilled with the demolisher right now because it is pretty damn slow. Let's close our gap a on little bit here. We might be pushing our luck getting this close, but oh no, we're okay on that side. Okay, over here. Back to incendiary. We got two more turns of this. Engaging target. 
PPC landed. Looks like it was an arm hit. Enjoy the heat, buddy. Got a lot more coming. Ready for orders. Uh, right side turn to him, right? Yeah. Let's get some revenge. Get some shit kicking revenge if we can. Okay, we got one on. Laser hit the other guy, it's fine. We should be able to knock this guy down this turn. He's going on nine. Vulture's going way before that. We're gonna dump everything into him. All the infernos. Ooh, nice shot. Good thing I got lots of armor. Good thing I got lots of armor. Alright, we want to get a clear line on that vulture if we can. I don't think we can. Nope, so I'm just going to walk it up to here. We'll cross the water next turn with a sprint. We'll be unstable here, but that's fine. We're out of incendiary and narc, it looks like. Really? Alright, well, the MRM Thames has got incendiary, so... This should knock his ass down, though. That was a CT hit. How you like me now, bitch? Have a seat. That's what you get for making me lose an Ultra 5. Well, he's got 1 to 3 health left. Goddamn right he's panicking. Oh, you want some? I got lots for you. I got lots for you. Orders. We're gonna take a pot shot at this guy's head. Cause fuck it. With you never know. There you go. <laughs> Beautiful. We Oh my god, we'll get that mech, I think. I think we're getting four four sixteen or four seventeen salvage, something like that. So we can take that mech and then hopefully there's an ultra five in here somewhere. I don't think there is though. Yes, Commander. That's a whole lot of fuck you to that guy. All right. Um. All right. Let's move. Let's generate a crap ton of well, a half decent amount of evasion. There's another reason why I like Wendigo on this thing is because she's got plus two to evasion. So it really helps out. Um. Let's go with standard. Target locked. Increase the damage a little bit. Come on, you bastards. Let's go. Bring it on. You should be running. You should be running. Wish I knew what this guy had. Hmm. How close do I want to get? Probably not that close. I mean, we are relatively like a longer range build, right? So... Let's just move into here. I want to restrict the other guy's chance to shoot at me. Oh, this guy's like got some kind of ECM going on over here. Drop some standard on him. Target locked. Save the save the incendiaries for somebody who's overheating. Okay, we got a tag on. Receiving you. Actually, hold off. You wait for Waiting a second. For the shot. Because I want to get the um, sensor lock on somebody else that moves. Like if this waiver and moves, I want to get a sensor lock on him. Ooh, got two on. Got two on him. That's right, Bubba, we see you. Yeah, you know who the threat is. My only fear with this vulture is it's got a low stability. There's nothing I can do about that. Get 
Get into here. We're just going to shoot at whoever we have a better chance at. I mean, I guess I should just shoot for the Wavern. That's pretty good. 86. Yeah, it's pretty good here. We're going to switch this to improve, though, because we there's no reason to try and overheat him. Going to go back to standard. We got a good chances to hit, so firing. Wow, you got six chevrons of evasion too. I'm receiving you. I'm gonna do this because you need the extra little bit of speed boost for next turn. A little bit of high explosive. We want to try and target one of the legs or something. Got a 91% chance to hit. I mean, we could, or we could go for the torso. Oh, I can't go for that torso. You know what? He's unstable. Let's just shoot him, get as many hits on, and hopefully knock his ass over. That should do it. Yep, there's the knockdown. Okay, so I don't need the, uh... I don't need the sensor lock on this guy. Let's go for his leg. Alright, we'll save our sensor lock for next turn. Get around here. I think, I don't know if I'm I haven't decided whether I'm going to save the Nova for last or what. Or, I mean, the Stormcrow, I mean. Probably. We'll probably save the Stormcrow for last. Ooh! His leg got destroyed? There's a knockdown. How did he get his leg destroyed? I'm not using mines or anything. Yes, Commander. Okay, hold off you. Wait till they move. Then we'll sensor lock somebody. Uh, Blade. Can't see that guy, huh? Oh, we gotta turn a little bit here. Here we go. Here we go. I wonder if the fire took his leg. It's a possibility. I should do it. Nope. Damn it. Scored a critical hit. Pretty darn close, though, I think. Yeah, he's down to one. Really? I'm getting lucky with that, Goss. Standing by. Um, yeah. Copy that. That's all we need is a one hit. Ah, oh, fuck. Really? Tango down. Even we just two alarm fives, huh? Alright, whatever. I should have tried to shoot it with the tag. <laughs> Bandit's starting to take a bit of damage now. It's fine. She only had four chevrons of evasion, so. Alright, slingshot. Let's get up here. Double time. Let's go. Who do we want first? Probably the PPC boy, which is this guy. Ah, uh, they're not getting any evasion anyway. They're not getting any What's evasion any way. Let's apply a little bit of HE to this guy. Show him how much we love him. Hello! Take this. Okay, nice solid red line on him. As long as we're not standing on the unstable ground, we're pretty good. 
And yeah, I think that's pretty good. I know control purse doesn't really matter, but we're going to do it anyway. Keep myself in the habit of using it all the time. Man, our pilots are in the wrong mechs. Some of them are in the wrong mechs. Not all of them, but some of them are. Okay. Receiving you. Can we get a little bit of blade daca in there? I don't think so. We can if he's up there, but he's just a plain ass target. I'll tell you what. Let's reserve you. Holding for tactical advantage. Because we get that Nova going, or the I keep calling it a Nova, the Stormcrow going, then we might be able to capitalize on taking that other guy down. Oh, beautiful. I wonder if that guy's just a garbage pilot. Either that or he's having a bad day, one of the two. Let's apply a little bit more instability. What's up, buddy? Have a seat. Yeah, I'm kind of liking that loadout. All right, let's put you in here. Now we gotta make sure your left side, if we can. That's better, even there. So we're not on unstable ground. Just enough. Going full throttle. Turn it just enough so we don't lose that leg. connection on that one well even Hi if he guys. does get up he's gonna be superheated next turn so we want to get you on the storm crow I think we want to get you on the storm crow give him somebody to make him angry if we can all right firing Got one with the tag. Aye, aye. Should probably be going first next turn. This is a risk. I know it's a risk. Oh, we're jammed too, that figures. Roger. Oh, we got the kill. Hostile eliminated. All right, let's start working on this guy now. Uh, get to here. Acknowledged. All right, now, um, 78. Let's go after his leg. Fire an owl weapon. Let's just hit random shit. Standing by. Let's just hit some random shit, because that's what we're good for. Roger. That's a pretty good number of hits with uh, a bad chance to hit. Yes, Commander. Nice. Move order received. The gamble paid off. I was worried about that one. I was worried about that one. He'll probably go for the vehicle. We'll see what he does. That's my guess, though. Nope. He gave up. Commander. He just gave up. He just Heading out. gave up. I don't understand. Maybe his Gauss rifle's jammed or something, or I don't. Uh, who knows? But it looks to me like he just decided to throw in the towel. Copy that. Just one in the leg, huh? Just one on that leg. Uh, let's reserve you. Get that vulture going before you. I'm here. Okay, Rose. Um. Around to this right. side. And let's just shoot him. We're liable to get more hits in the leg with just shooting him. There's the solid blue line we we're looking for. 
Alrighty, what's our chance? Pretty good. Trying for the leg. Looks like we got a hit in the leg. That's a lot of missiles in that leg. Wow. Good to go. That's fucking scary, man, for him anyway. Locking on target. Who's up? Oh yes, by. yes. Alright. Let's get to here. Same Moving idea. Alright. Um. I better fire everything. Because uh, otherwise, if, if I just fire the like rocket, or the missiles I mean, and we miss... Roger that. The whole gamble's for nothing. Is it enough? Well, it's enough for the knockdown. That's good enough for me. The battle computer headshot's gone. I guess that's good he's not using that against us. I wonder if he was- that's why he was missing so many times. He was trying to use a headshot against us. We don't need to move. Okay, so that leg is gone. Let's get on this one. Engaging. Start. Fucking spread it around, buddy. Spread it around. Receiving you. Really? Hold All the way over here, huh? Target. Going for the leg. Let's hope for a hit. Uh, torso hits, I think. Commander. Let's just go with the direct fire weapons. Bad damn it. What do I do here? I think we secure the kill. Got it. We had to secure the kill on that one. If he stood up, he could have done some damage. Mission successful. Yeah, I think I'm sticking by my, my decision to reconsider not going to the left and going to the right and killing that carrier. Because if we hadn't have killed that carrier, it would have been lobbing shit on us the whole match. And LRM 80s can be particularly nasty. So we did lose the uh, ER medium I can replace. I'm pretty sure I've got one of these kicking around. Yeah. Ultra 5, we don't have any. So i got to rethink the loadout. Maybe we go... Maybe this guy becomes the two um, pirate 5s. Let me think about that. Kid Fox just took some damage to its leg. And then the rest of us were, were good to go. So let's have a look at salvage wise. Hopefully we can get some good stuff here. So we only get three salvage. We could take the mad dog. We could go that route. Although there's a hopefully we get a Nova part. Goss Rifle Clan, Laser AMS. I think all like a lot of this stuff we can probably get through offline playthroughs. I think taking the mech in this case, because I want I want a mad dog. Right, the vulture's nice. It is it is technically like a seventy ton mad dog, basically with the the look and everything. But I like the mad dog, so let's go with that. And then we should be pretty much, you know, high end, medium, low end, heavy now, with the number of mechs that we have across the board. We can bring that guy forward. So yeah, hopefully we can get a double heat sink kit because I've only got one clan double heat sink kit and no double heat sinks. Man, a lot of good stuff down here. Let's hope we get some good stuff. All right, we got the Nova part. We got two of them. We got three of them. We got a whole Nova. Two medium lasers, which we can get rid of. SRM two streak. Wonder if I should start holding on to streaks and stuff. I don't know. Let's just go with it. Get rid of it. I mean, Guardian ECM definitely want. That can go. Wow, we got garbage here. Remote sensor to dispenser. 
it's one full ton three uses two turn duration increase sensor range when active increase sight range when active yeah maybe SLDF sensors we can hang on to I guess fusion core can go for a hundred grand all right so we didn't replace the ultra 5 but I guess that's okay all right I want to have a quick look in the mech or uh, yeah mech bay before we go I'm interested to see if let's go to storage here real quick if um, we had more Nova parts No, they're just all the same shit. I thought I had another different, like a different Nova, but I don't. Definitely got enough to put a bushwhacker together. Uh, we can see what we can get off that, but it's a pirate whacker, so... I mean, if it was a clan mech, sure, but it's not. Uh, Nova will bring forward. The Mad Dog we can bring forward. We can make another bandit, maybe. Um, yeah, we're getting there. I mean... Worst case scenario, we can always bring the Griffin 2C back, but I don't want to do that. Nova, Mad Dog, can replace two of the Light Max, and then we got in here. We have the Hellbringer coming forward, the Talos. Yeah, we'll probably be using that too. We have two more, so we can drop four guys. One, two, three, four. All the four Light Max. The Grendel, I don't know. Maybe we keep the Cougar for long range firepower and drop the Grendel. It's nice having that, that knife fighter, you know, that backstabber if we can get it in close. Maybe we do kind of a, I don't know. I was going to say, maybe we do a specialist build on it and put a bunch of rockets on it. Like a pair of ER mediums and the rest rockets. But still, like, there's not enough weight on it. Like, there's just not enough space to add weapons to it. So I don't, I don't know. That might be one that we just kind of put in the storage bay for now and bring it. Like, even the even the uh, Shadowhawk 2C would be better, I think. But let me think about it. I don't know. We got to have eight. We've got enough to run eight mechs. So. And if we drop these four and bring two forward, that's giving us nine. So yeah, I mean, we could drop the Grendel. I want to have a couple, though. We want to have a couple of mechs just extra sitting around just in case we need them. Let me think about it. I am also want to hear what your guys' comments, what you, what you guys think. But uh, yeah, I'm going to leave the episode here. I'm going to have to do a lot of farming. We've got how many days before financial report? 19, so we can make the financial. So we're at 1.2 million right now that we can spend on stuff. Um, if I was to bring forward the, yeah, it's still we're still a ways out. Because even putting the vault, even putting the the Stormcrow D together, um, even after it was repaired and stuff, we got the medium lasers and and the uh, MRM 30 on this thing. Uh, even just doing that was like 300 and something thousand. It was only like three days to do it. It was fast to put together, but um, it was just a ridiculous amount of, like not ridiculous, but a, a chunk of change that we just don't have a lot of coin to do that right now, right? So, all right, well, I'm going to leave the episode here, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, drop a like. If you haven't subscribed, please feel free to subscribe. You can also drop any comments in the comment section down below. Um, I, yeah, you know what? I was going to reveal something, but I'll wait till the beginning of next week because I want your guys' thoughts on this. And I want the week to for the for my thought to develop. I, I'm still working on another, like for the next series coming after this one, I, I'm working on something in my head. Um, and it's going to involve, like it's going to have community involvement. I want like other people to, to be involved with it. So um, I, I got to flesh out the idea a little more, but I'm going to present that next week, okay? Uh, so I hope you guys listened to this video to the end, because if you didn't, you're going to miss that. Anyway, uh, <laughs> until next time, we'll see y'all later.